On a different topic, a lot of recent bad publicity and, quite frankly, some horror stories about recent airline experiences. Uh, Guru, is there anything that the major airlines are doing, like maybe airline ticket specials or different customer service deals, to sway the public's opinion back into uh, the favor of happy flying. Uh, certainly the airlines have taken it on the chin lately from a PR standpoint. And deservedly so, King. Uh, we've heard a lot lately in the news about people flying the uh, unfriendly sky, shall we say. And they are running some specials, and they are trying to make up for the things that we've seen on these videos that have been posted and people uh, being treated really, really poorly by the airlines. So they're doing these specials, but in my opinion, it's not about having these specials in order to fix the problem. What, fix the, what fixes this problem is better service. And I don't think it's that hard. Uh, let's stop treating people like cattle when it comes to, to getting on an airplane. I mean, I've flown first class. I've flown economy. Just treat everyone like it's first class, which really means uh, you treat them like they're human. How about smiling at them? How about being nice? How about being pleasant? It's not that hard. Uh, the airlines having to run specials and doing giveaways, quite frankly, that damage control is costing them money when they didn't need to be in that position to start with. So as far as I'm concerned, if you want to get passengers happy again, how about this? Let's start hiring people that actually like to serve. And let's make sure that they're serving people regularly. Uh, you know the difference of any time you're on the other end of, of someone, either at a restaurant or, or somewhere else where service is involved. When someone is smiling and they're nice, it makes a huge difference as to what the experience is. So I, I think that's number one. I think we need to create something that's, a, that's in between the extremes of, of first-class flying and flying economy. I think they could also do a better job with the food. I mean, eating is our favorite pastime, at least for you and I, King, right? So let's work on that angle. Let's step that up a little bit. If people have a good meal in their stomach, they're in a better mood, and then everybody's in a better mood. It creates a little bit more positive energy when you're flying. And, and let's face it, too, we've got to do something about these seats. I mean, they keep getting smaller and smaller, and people are uncomfortable. And when they're uncomfortable, they get in a bad mood. And, again, that energy is what, what fills the plane. But I am sure that there are things that can be done, and the airlines can still make profit. So um, what they know they need to do is improve from where they are now, and I think that starts with just plain better service.